Hey guys, what's up? It's Bree. Welcome back to my channel. So today guys, I'm going to be showing you how to get this simple, simple eye look and makeup look. Um, this is like a going out type of look for me. You can go out to brunch, you can go out to lunch, you can go out to dinner. You can wear it whenever. It's similar to all my other looks, but today I did rock a little eyeshadow. You guys know how I feel about eyeshadow, but I'm trying to step outside of the box. I'm also using my KK Beauty So Fire palette today, and I'm going to be showing you guys how I use this palette and also how I got this look. So if you guys are interested in this video, go ahead and continue to watch i love you and i'll talk to you later bye okay guys so i'm gonna show you guys how i get this eye i'm gonna use the kkw beauty palette which one is this it's called the so fire palette looks like that so i'm gonna first take this color here and i'm gonna use that all over as a transition transition color i'm using a fluffy brush this brush is from morphe i mean crown and this is c529 but i promise i will be leaving everything down in the description box this time guys so i'm just taking this same color right here and i'm just building it up building it up right here on my eye coming up to the eyebrow area like so then I'm going to take another blending brush and I'm going to use more so of this darker orangey type of color dust it off a little bit And I'm going to use this more so a little above the crease, but kind of towards the crease area. Circular motions. So I'm building up the color, as you guys can see. Just building up the color. Okay. Next, I'm going to take, and then I'm going to go ahead and take this brown color here. It's like a brownie, ready type of color. And I'm going to put that in the crease of my eye. So this is going to just add a little darkness to the eye. Okay. Circular motions coming up. I'm going to take a little of my Max Fix Plus on this flat, dense brush here. And I'm going to take this orangey type of color right here. Y'all see that color? And I'm gonna pack this on my lid. I'm not doing a cut crease. I'm just coming up a little above my lid a little bit. And we're gonna take this yellow golden color. Kinda reminds me of Trophy Wife by Fendi. And we're gonna put it towards the beginning of the eye, overlapping the orange color. Don't worry about the edges. We just want to build the pigmentation up right now. Now I'm going to go ahead and take my blending brush, dust it off a little bit, and I'm going to blend the edges out so it can be very seamless. So I'm just going to go back over it with the orange color a little bit, the orange bronzy type of color. Go back over it. Go back over the yellow color. I'm just flipping my brush. Because when I was blending, I kind of blend the color out too much. I know it's not looking as good right now. But trust me, once it's all done, it's going to look good. That's one thing about eyeshadow. So right now, I'm just taking this shimmery color here like a burgundy color and I'm just putting it towards the end of the eye like in the crease kind of but only towards the end of the eye like <laughs> so I'm gonna go back in that brown color right here and I'm gonna deepen the crease 
So basically, it's all about layering. This is how I get my eyeshadow to blend in smooth. I like my eyeshadow to be all blended in. So right now, I usually leave it like this. It really don't look like nothing. But you guys will see. I'm going to go ahead and put my liner on. My favorite black liner by X Essence out of Ulta. Now we're going to do the Wayne line. I don't know if I could do this on camera. But I'll try. I'm going to take my NYX liquid matte liner and I'm gonna attempt to wing my eye on camera so usually I just hold it sometimes sometimes I start at the end sometimes I don't I want this liner to be a little thick. Okay guys, so my lashes are on and they are pretty big. <laughs> um, this eyelash seems to be a little bit more curled than this one, so I'm gonna curl it. I'm gonna curl this eyelash when I'm done. But right now I'm gonna take my Huda Beauty and Fenty foundation. I'm gonna mix them together. I seen a girl on here on YouTube. She mixed these foundations together and she said she liked them. So that's what I'm gonna do. Both of these foundations are very, 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 very full coverage. So I don't feel like you need a lot at all because they are so full coverage. I did prime my skin with the Fenty Primer. Oh, that is full coverage. Very, very full coverage. I'm gonna, after I'm done, I'm gonna take a beauty blender and make sure I blend everything out. Take a little bit more of this Fenty foundation and the Huda foundation. Looks pretty. I'm not gonna put a lot of foundation on my forehead at all. I hate putting makeup on my forehead, but that's my problem area and I have to put makeup on my forehead. My foundation looks a little green today. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's that Huda. I think that's a reason why I didn't care for the Huda Beauty because it kind of came off to be green. But in person, it don't look green, but on camera, it looks a little green. I'm just gonna blend that in. Okay, now I'm gonna take a little of my Huda. No, this is Smashbox Concealer. I'm gonna take this is more like a skin tone to me. like more of my skin tone it's like one shade lighter than me okay i'm gonna go ahead and blend this concealer out i've been learning a lot of new things when it comes to my makeup um like i've been looking at like a lot of videos on instagram on like how like some artists like celebrity artists not even celebrity artists but really good artists um do makeup and i just want to apply some of the techniques like just to switch up my makeup i really like the way i do my makeup but you know i always like to learn more about makeup artistry i do feel like I want to start using more blush and I also want to start contouring more because I feel like I don't contour as much.
I'm gonna take my brush and make sure my forehead is blended out. Now I'm gonna set underneath my eyes. And I'm gonna use, let's use the Huda Beauty Powder today. I think this is in the shade Kanufa, something like that. I'm gonna push in. I'm not gonna let it like sit on top of the eye. I mean, I'm not gonna let it like sit. I'm gonna like push it in. So I can like set the concealer and not just sit on top of the concealer. I still haven't contoured my face yet. That's okay. Just putting the powder down. I love using a lot of powder, y'all. Cause it just makes your face look so flawless. Okay, so now it's time to contour. I'm gonna only, I think I'm gonna contour using this Fit Me powder. I always use this. And this is in the shade 360. I wouldn't even say I'm contouring. I would say I'm more like bronzing up the skin. This is my one of my favorite parts. This and concealer. I love to chisel up my face. I spent a lot of time on my bottom mascara, y'all. Like, I use like two or three different mascaras. Maybe more, like three. Cause I think that's what makes my makeup look, look really pretty. Like it's a must have. So I do a layer of this mascara, this mascara, okay? Then I go and take these fibers. Um, this is from a company that's called um, Campfire. I don't know. I'll leave it down below. And these are like fibers. Like, they're like loose hairs. Like hair type of fibers. I don't think they're real hair, but it looks like hair. But I use them on my bottom lashes and it makes my bottom lashes look so full like I have on fake bottom lashes. So many people be like, oh my gosh, Bree, what kind of lashes are you wearing at the bottom? And it's like, I'm not wearing any lash at the bottom. You, you see like how the bottom lashes instantly like amp the look up. Then after I put those fibers on, I seal it. I'll go back with the mascara and seal it because I want them to kind of be stuck on there. I don't want them to just fly off because sometimes if you don't seal it with like another mascara, it'll kind of like fall over your fall all over your face. Oh my gosh, my bottom eyelashes are so pretty makes the look look more dramatic oh my gosh these bottom eyelashes is everything oh, serious <laughs> now I'm gonna add a little bit more bronzer I am not overdrawing my lip. I'm just going right on my lip line. I have very full lips. So now I'm gonna, what lip gloss am I gonna wear? I'm gonna wear this ColourPop So Juicy Lip Gloss and this is in the shade. She's here.
so pretty. Okay, let me change my clothes and get into my look so you guys can get the whole look. Be right back. So I'm wearing this little dress today. So my neck is a little darker right here. So I'm gonna take a little foundation and put on my neck area, y'all, because I don't want my neck. I don't want my neck to look like so darker than my face. I don't know, y'all. It just happens. I don't know how it get like that. This dress is cute, but it always come down. I got this dress from Pretty Little Thing. By the way, I don't want to wear much, but I just want to wear something to like. Now, I'm going to say spray some setting spray on this. And I'm gonna put a little glow on my neck because my show my all of this is out and I want it to look really pretty. So I'm gonna take some of my Fenty Balm. I'm gonna start off with that and then I think I'm gonna mix the trophy wife with it to get this particular glow that I like to go for. So give me a minute. This is a really pretty balm. Is so diamondy like this is so I think this is called diamond diamond bomb oh my gosh I get so many compliments when I wear this y'all and I only really wear it when my shoulders and chest is out like this it is so pretty it's not probably even showing on camera but it just made my body look wet okay guys so that's it for my makeup tutorial on this nice little I guess sunset type of look. If you guys enjoyed this video and you feel like it was helpful, please thumbs this video up. I love you guys so much and thank you guys so much for watching this video. Bye.